You know, there's one natural element in Hogs of War that was never really used. You've got water, you've got poison water, you've got minefields, you've got mud, you've got chalk, you've got rock, you've got everything, but what you don't have is lava. When diving deep into the game's files, there was just one map that stood out to me, Climb. Simply named, of course, like most of the maps in this game, but one that kind of gives more of a hint as to what the mission or the map itself entails. Initially, in the early version of the game, it may not look like much given that just the base landscape is there, there's no other buildings or anything like that, but you do have the major centre point of the volcano in the middle of the map with the stream of lava down the middle of it, which if the player actually stood inside of, they would take damage and eventually die. So that mechanic has been there for a long time and I'm guessing lava was intended to be used more as a main element or as something in regards to maybe replacing water on certain levels. Either way, the functionality was down, which meant that there was some intention to go forward with this map and do something with it. But is there actually any visual progression that we can see from the map itself? Well, in the beta and final release version of the game, there is nothing really to show. It's again just the base level. Yes, the lava is still there. Yes, the volcano is there and it's kind of changed a little bit in that the volcano is extended across both sides of the map. But other than that, there is no visual representation of what this map was meant to be used for. Instead there was a fixed point in the alpha version whereby the map was probably at its most fullest and I'd like to show you guys that now. So we're going to cross over live to myself in about two minutes time. So welcome everybody to Climb. This looks much, much different to how it did in the previous versions that I showed you. We have very early versions of tanks here that currently don't have guns, but you are able to drive them. The primary point of this, uh, I guess, mission is to get in the tanks and drive up the side of the volcano and uh, basically take out the enemies that are on the far side over here who have pillboxes, they also have tanks, and they also have a legend who is hiding up here who I'm going to distract with my tank because he thinks he can rule over me and instead I'm just going to park this right here so he doesn't use his super air burst because I know what movie's going to do. I've played this before and I figured why not show it to you guys and play through it right now. The health pools, as I've said in previous videos, are much larger in comparison, so the matches themselves are actually a wee bit longer um, than they usually would, and he's going to do exactly the same thing as last time. <laughs> uh, Okay, well, I've never seen that happen before. That's a, that's a that's a brilliant start. We've got rid of the legend already, who was the like the primary target. <laughs> oh, as you can see, there's like numerous buildings dotted about, and you know, there's different stairs and everything. There's two pillboxes. I want to say three or two tanks you can get into. And there are minefields dotted across the map as well. The, the map display on the HUD is slightly different than what it is today. Uh, there's less color. <laughs> it's more of a base brown color, I would say. Um, but you've got the lava in the middle here, which if you do walk into, uh, you do take damage. And I don't actually know where I can and can't walk, so I kind of have to shuffle my way up here. And the only way I know how. So once I eventually get up there, I can get... Okay, maybe I can't, because there's a minefield right there. But, you know, I have no idea, because I can't even see it. That was a good shot. So yeah, lava is a huge, huge change to what we'd normally see in the game, given that it's not exactly a mechanic in itself. Uh, do I have TNT? I do. Let's try and nudge him off, shall we? What in the world? Alright, well, ignoring that, <laughs> ignoring the broken physics, uh, I want to know what you guys have to say about this map. Do you like the look of it? Do you think it could have worked? 
I'm very much intrigued with the whole lava in the middle um, and maybe knocking them down from the top because there is that one sapper that's currently up there uh, that I would like to get to but I can't really without having to go the long way so if you're on the right hand side of the map you have a way up the mountain or up the volcano but if you're on the left side or on the far side you're kind of very much reliant on the tanks which is also interesting uh, I don't really have anything to damage him with so I'm just gonna shuffle over here or at least try to take up a position where the <laughs> where the legend was and I guess I can try and shoot him the aim um, the aiming system is is just something else like it's very difficult to get a shot away I only just managed to do it as well but the standard 20 damage is there and now I'm a bit worried because my commando is positioned a little bit too close to the edge of the map so it's just whether or not more stupid moves will be done <laughs> in this case yes meanwhile it's like a battle of wits down here I'm not gonna bother with the mortar because it's just easier to get the damage or completely miss your shot with the bazooka I'm curious to know what this sapper is gonna do okay he thinks he can shoot from there <laughs> he was actually closer to shooting his own player alright this time without standing on any mines let's get in the tank let's get up the hill and then I can deal with um, deal with the sapper can I can I cross through here is it even possible it is I don't know if they take damage because tanks don't visibly have any health pools but that's cool I need to do something I need to get up here and knock him down so I can display what this map was meant meant to be look at him look at him take damage oh so it, it seems to deal the same kind of damage over time as water would do I think it's just an estimate it looked like it anyway please don't fall in the minefield so cool thing about the engineer class as well is that you could actually plant three mines rather than two and then you just gotta get the hell away from there goodbye <laughs> see you later mate and he's down at the very bottom of the map <laughs> be healed my friend so maybe with this shot maybe getting dead on <laughs> into the minefield that's what we want extra damage <laughs> go on keep doing it where's he going <laughs> is he okay <sighs> he's not okay <laughs> nah, he's okay I managed to fix him but where's he gonna go now what is happening <laughs> yeah he's, he's still not okay yeah he still seems broken given that he can now move at the same time that I can I've never seen that in this game before but I'm gonna try and poison him and hopefully that'll put him to sleep there we go sleep easy now <laughs> Uh, that was some crazy AI work right there. Interesting though. Interesting to see the faults. Because every game is made up of faults and... Well, if you can't laugh at the things that are wrong with it, then... You can't really laugh at anything, can you? I don't know what he is thinking. But it's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to put him out of his misery. I'm sorry. And he's gone. Rest in peace. Take damage to <laughs> all of my players as well. So it's just the sapper left to deal with. Just gotta get in close as I can and try and punch him off. 
because if he can fall down here, that would be an amazing end to this match. Maybe not. It's time to end this with my blade. I cut at thee and completely miss. Okay, this time. This time I end it for good. <laughs> Either way, everybody, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed this showcase of Climb. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think it could have worked as a single player campaign map? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let's get a discussion going as always. And in the meantime, I'll catch you guys later for the next one.